You know, I can't lie to you guys. It does feel good to splurge and to pick up a nice luxury niche product every now and then, right? I'm sure you guys feel the same way if you've ever purchased any niche fragrances before. You know, you get all excited. You're picking up something that's really premium. However, with that feeling, sometimes comes a feeling of, I don't know if I should be doing this or not. And sometimes it may feel wrong to be spending that much money on one fragrance, and maybe that's part of the reason why we like to do it from time to time. However, um, it's not necessary, and I don't care what anyone tells you, you don't have to spend that much money to either A, smell good, or B, smell different or unique, which is the main argument that people will use for niche fragrances, right? I have my fair share. I'm in the position with this channel where I could receive a bunch of these for free, and while I have gotten some for free from time to time, that's not my goal. I turn 99% of them down. The ones that come in generally are sent to me without me even asking for them or, or saying that I want them. They're just kind of show up sometimes. That's not my goal here on the channel. My goal is to provide you guys with information on fragrances that you can pick up and not really burn yourself out and to burn through a bunch of money. I, I don't want the, the collecting experience to be stressful for you like it may be if you're chasing niche and trying to spend a whole bunch of money on stuff. And so today what we have is 10 fragrance clones that are so good I would get rid of my expensive niche scents. This is kind of a variation of the keep 10 for life, toss out the rest. Now, obviously, I'm not going to be tossing out my niche fragrances. Again, most of them, the vast majority, I have purchased myself, and I'm just not going to be throwing those away. I can guarantee that. However, if I was building up my collection from scratch with the information that I know now, I would just pick up these clones and call it good. That's how close they are, and I want to talk about them today. So I will link these down below to discounters for you. Um, like with everything, I purchased pretty much all of these clones as well. Maybe got in a couple for free from Fragrance Buy, but that's always a no strings attached kind of deal where they just send some things over to me. And if I like them, I talk about them. If I don't like them, which has happened, I just don't talk about them because they aren't that good. But all of these are amazing. And so most of these links probably will take you to Fragrance Buy. They tend to have the best prices on a lot of these clones. Most of these will be in, in the 20 to $40 range with maybe one or two outliers a bit more, but all I can say is for sure, these are all gonna be much more affordable than the niche counterparts. Now I will also drop a link down below to my mailing list if you guys wanna pick up some of the best fragrance deals on the internet, you can do so by subscribing to that list. I send out emails, also a bunch of rare stuff that may come into stock, um, you guys will be able to pick up as well. So we'll get things kicked off with the hot new Armoff. Club de Nuit Untold Eau de Parfum by Armoff. Now this is going to be their Baccarat Rouge 540 clone, the first BR540 clone from Armoff. Definitely not the first one on the market. There's quite a few of them. Talked about a few on the channel. Uh, however, this one here is incredible. And this is definitely focused on the Eau de Parfum. Now, I also really like Alharmain Amber Aoud Ruby, which is a clone of the Extrait. Just depends on what you're after. I think, generally speaking, the Eau de Parfum DNA is the one that is, is a little bit more sought after in most instances, which is why I included this one. And look, BR540, Great scent, it's one of my favorite niche products, but incredibly expensive. Even at discounters for the small small bottle over $300, just isn't really worth it for a lot of people out there. This one usually right around 60 when you can get it. Definitely a big difference here in price. All right, next up we have Killer Oud Revolution by Paris Corner. The lighting is gonna not really do this bottle justice here. It kinda looks dumb, but uh, yeah, there you go. And if you couldn't tell by the bottle, maybe you can, maybe you can't. Um, this is an Amouage Reflection Man clone. So, contrary to popular belief, no oud in here. I don't understand the naming convention. Personally, I think they dropped the ball on this a little bit with the name because it's misleading. No oud. You do get the white florals, you do, do get some of the woods, a little bit of the citrus, very much a Reflection Man clone. And Reflection Man is one of my favorite scents from Amouage. Even out of all of the different uh, interlude flankers, which I have all of them, the OG, Black Iris, the new 53 straight absolute monster, I still 
at the end of the day, we'll take Reflection Man over any, and more specifically, Reflection 43 x straight. If you can get your hands on a bottle of that, that is the way to go if you want to pick one up. However, if you want Reflection Man for about $29, $30, this is going to be the only thing you need right here. Really impressive clone, very close. This will have you smelling unique, expensive, high-end, luxurious, whatever. And the quality is great too. Let's keep things moving with Alharmain Detour Noir. So this is going to be your Parfums de Marly Layton clone, your go-to, at least it is for me. And it, you know, I have quite a few, again, um, got a couple other pretty solid Layton clones. This one wins, $35, 100 mil. It just gets you about as close as you can possibly get to the point where, again, if you're on a budget, this eliminates the need of having to save up a bunch of money to get Layton itself. Now, Layton and just Parfums de Marly in general has been really hot lately with the big PDM sales that I'm sure you've seen quite a bit now. I've done a couple on my channel as well, and it's there's been quite a bit of them. So during those sales, you can get Layton, I think, for uh, as low as I've seen it for 174, 179, and that's for the full presentation 4.2 ounce new in box. So better than retail, better than normal discounter price, but still expensive and still well over double the price of some of the expensive designer fragrances. So this will be the way to go if you do want to save some money. All right, let's keep it moving with Afnan Tarathi Blue. So this one a little bit different. Uh, this is a clone of Bulgari Tiger, which yeah, technically is going to be a designer in this instance. However, it might as well be niche with this pricing. Uh, $250, I think, well over that maybe. Uh, to buy that one, you can't get it discounted. Pretty much retail is gonna be your only way to go. So it's very expensive, especially for what it is, which don't get me wrong, it's a great scent. I've spent a lot of time with it via samples and decants and that sort of thing. I've never even sprung for a full bottle, um, but I did put it up to test with this, and this is very close to it. It's a great fruit scent at the end of the day. Great fruit, patchouli, amber, right? You know, it's quite a bit of money. This one gets you incredibly close even has a little bit of a hint of a blue to Chanel type of twist in here as well, kind of from this grapefruit, almost slight smokiness. Very mature, very masculine at a fraction of the price. Okay, let's keep it moving with Amir Fire Your Desire, which this will be a Killian Angels share clone. So Kamra is kind of the big dog, everyone wants it. It's one of those deals where it sells out really quick when it does come into stock. It's a great clone, I like it, I have it, I've talked about it. Uh, this one's a bit closer. I'm not gonna say better because I think it depends on what you're after. If you are after just a, a straight up clone of Angel's Share, like as close as you can get accuracy wise, in my opinion, this does take the cake. However, if you already have Angel's Share, you may not have a use for this, in which case you can go with Kamra, which provides a little bit of a different type of sweetness, a little bit of a different take or flavor on that DNA, so to speak. Still very close, heavily inspired by, pretty much could be a clone, but there are differences, so it depends on what you're after. This one, I think, also is gonna be a little bit easier to get generally, so, you know, it's gonna be up to you. Although I will say, it's a great, great clone, and it pretty much eliminates the need of Angel Share if you're on a budget. Let's go with the Mansara clone up next. So this is a niche brand that is very affordable. In fact, it's more affordable than something like designer Bulgari Tiger or some other exclusive designer scents. Um, Mansara's, generally you can get for under $100 on discounters for the four ounce uh, full presentation new bottles. You know, I've seen them as low as 70, Mansara Red Tobacco, 70, uh, Mansara Cedrat Boise in the 80 range, right? but generally for the most part under 100. I mean, even the new Intense Cedrap Boise is right at $100 right now, which is crazy. That one retails for like 200 or 210 or something a bit over because it's an extrait. That's great savings. However, if you are on a budget and you can get a, a great clone for I think about $30, of Super Crush, you know, this is Instant Crush basically. So <laughs> Paris Corner, Super Crush, a clone of Instant Crush. So that one is gonna be, actually kind of gets compared to BR540 a little bit, but it's much sweeter. You know, there are some key differences here. People have gone as far as to say that Instant Crush is a clone of BR540. It is the exact same deal with people saying Cedrat Boise is a clone of, of Creed Aventus. It's completely just blown out of proportion in my opinion. Sure, they're probably taking inspiration. A lot of brands have taken inspiration from Creed and other niche brands, right? 
but to call them clones, that's just unrepresentative of the scent. This one, inspired by, but again, sweeter, more vanilla going on in here, uh, more oud, just a lot more in general. That being said, it's a beast mode scent this clone is, and it's a great affordable alternative to Instant Crush. Okay, so next up, a similar deal. We have a technically a designer brand, but from their exclusive line, it's niche priced. Again, way more expensive than Mancera's, even at retail price. So at the end of the day, we're still talking about heavy savings here on some exclusive scents. We have Maison Alhambra, the Tux. And if you probably couldn't tell, if you haven't watched my video yet, uh, it's a clone of YSL Tuxedo. Uh, this one, when it was in stock, 20, $22, somewhere right around in there. And this is 100 mil. Very similar in terms of bottle and even more similar in terms of scent. Very well done. It's much more affordable than something like Afnan Tarathi Brown, $40, $50, somewhere around in there, and Rokas Mustache Eau de Parfum. Anywhere from, I've seen it as low as $40 up to $70. That one has always had a big spread on discounters. Just very much a supply and demand thing with that one. It's been a pretty hot seller. And also, it's a bit closer even uh, compared to Mustache. Mustache has always had a little bit more focus on the vanilla, pink pepper, rather than a bunch of patchouli. This one's focusing more on that patchouli and the spices to really hone in on that tuxedo DNA. Very well done at a dirt cheap price. All right, next up we have Emir Vo Elegante. There's been a lot of Paris Corner in here. They've kind of branched off and created some other different lines. Uh, same with like Latafa, they've done the same. Like Maison Alhambra as a, you know, a kind of an offset of Latafa and so on. So, you know, a lot of the same brands, but at the end of the day, a lot of this stuff comes from the same place anyway. We just may not even know it. Uh, this one, I don't know if you could tell by the bottle or not because the shape isn't exact, but it does have a similar color combination and frost to glass. This is a Zerzhov Naxos clone. Now Naxos is a very hot seller. It surprises me because it's pretty pricey. I mean, even on discounters, it's one of those ones where when it pops into stock, it sells out quick. And that's one of the benefits of being on my mailing list. When it comes into stock, I shoot an email out. And it always goes fast. People are wanting Naxos for below retail. And I don't blame you. I don't like paying retail for things either. And if you don't even want to pay that discounted price, which is still expensive, you can get this and it is almost bang on to Naxos. That nice dusty honey tobacco smells beautiful. Great wintertime scent. Great performance out of this clone and nice presentation as well. Let's go with another Parfums de Marly clone just because why not? You know, it's a hot brand. People like them. People don't like the prices. Uh, this one in particular is one of the more expensive Parfums de Marly's. Uh, even during those sales, I think it's like it's been around 217. So it's quite a bit more compared to like the the 170 ish during the Parfums de Marly sales. And when the sales aren't going on, it's I don't know, 270, 280, nearing 300. Retail is over 300 something. So uh, generally, it's going to be one of the more premium ones. And it's also one of my favorites, Barouge Perlador, which is a clone of Carlisle. And it is spot on, just about as spot on as you can get to the point where it is nothing short of downright impressive. I mean, again, I was going on about Detour Noir and it's a very, very close clone as well, but this one is almost even more ridiculous in how close it is. Very, very impressive stuff. So you do get that kind of vanilla patchouli thing going on in, in some woods, a little bit of a tobacco thing going on in here as well. You guys know Carlisle kind of gets compared to like red tobacco and things of the nature. Um, generally, Carlisle is a bit sweeter, um, less, less oody for sure, like red tobacco. A little bit more smooth, a little bit more premium in one way or another. You know, Mancera has a lot of, of grunt to it and can be a little bit off-putting. I think Carlisle all, all around is a little bit more silky, sultry, and just more well executed, so to speak, just depending on what you're looking for, of course. And this one really does a great job of representing that scent. Also has great performance. Nice little presentation, custom presentation. You know, you don't really see any other bottles like this. Nice stuff. And we'll finish this one off with a Creed clone. Instead of going the Aventus route, which I have done quite a bit here on the channel, and there are a lot of great Aventus clones out there. We'll go over another one. Uh, this is very well known, right? Most of you might have it, or if not, you definitely have heard of it many times. But it's another one where each time I go to it, I'm like, 
That's impressive. Our Moth Train Wii. It's a $20 cent, pretty much all day long on discounters. 100 mil, nice presentation with a fake leather wrap around it. Got some stitching on it, you know. Now, our Moth, they don't try to copy or clone the bottles of the scents that they're cloning like some of these other brands do. So this is nothing at all like Green Irish Tweed in terms of the bottle, but the scent very much is. You get that lemon verbena, that violet, even those little hints and trickles of iris. Oh man, it's just such a timeless scent. You know, Green Irish Tweed, it's the epitome of springtime. Green, fresh, crisp air, uh, just a true beauty. It's expensive, doesn't perform that well. It's been reformulated a dime a dozen times, right? It's just people don't even wanna really buy it anymore. I just don't even really talk about Creed all that much on the channel because I see the feedback. You guys are frustrated, I'm frustrated. So when you could save a ton of money, $20 versus 200 plus on discounters, and you can get something that's this good, why not? Okay, that's gonna do it for me. Uh, 10 fragrance clones that are so good, theoretically, I would throw my niche away. That's obviously never gonna happen. Um, you know, I would sell them or I would give them away if I wanted to get rid of them. I'm not gonna do that. But again, if I was starting over, knowing the knowledge that I have now, I would just get these instead. Don't see any reason why I wouldn't. I don't need to buy the niche to, you know, make it feel like, oh, I'm expensive. I love them. I'll pick them up from time to time, maybe to treat myself to something special if I've really been wanting one. But for the most part, it's designers for me, you know, and, and every now and then go for some clones if I'm kind of wanting something a little bit different. I want to save some money off of my bottles that I purchased that were just crazy expensive. So if you guys are on a budget, but you want to get some of those niche hype beasts, these are going to be for you. Links will be down below. Deals will be on my community tab and my mailing list. Low Midi All Extreme, Luminous Night, uh, Prada Luna Rosa Black below uh, retail, um, just, you know, Isimiyake Noir Ombre, all of that stuff that sells out quick. I send out notifications for you guys and you'll be able to pick them up with ease via that emailing list. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.